over now to the U.S. presidential primary in Indiana. And Donald Trump crushed the competition, all but sealing his path to the Republican nomination, especially after Texas Senator Ted Cruz dropped out. Ian Shin has more on the results. They always say the next primary is pivotal, but the one in Indiana on Tuesday was more than that. It was a decisive one for the Republicans. After winning all five Northeast states last week, frontrunner Donald Trump claimed a huge win in Indiana. His victory virtually ensures he will become his party's nominee, especially after his main rival, Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who announced he is ending his campaign. From the beginning, I've said that I would continue on as long as there was a viable path to victory. Tonight, I'm sorry to say, It appears that path has been foreclosed. Now that Senator Cruz is out of the picture, the Republican National Committee has joined Trump in saying he's the party's presumptive nominee. On the Democratic side, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders pulled out a victory over former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. The win injects some energy into Sanders' sagging campaign, but it isn't enough to change the trajectory of the race. Clinton only needs about 200 more delegates to become the party's nominee, while Sanders, even with the additional pledged delegates from Tuesday, is far behind Clinton by at least 800 delegates. Even before all the votes were counted on Tuesday, the nation's attention had already started turning toward the general election in the fall. Just the day before, a national poll showed Trump leading Clinton 41 percent to 39 percent in a virtual matchup between the two. And considering back in March, the results were flipped in exactly the opposite way, it looks like the race will be roller coaster of a ride all the way up to Election Day in November. Ian Shin, Arirang News.